It's scandalous. Put it in your mouth. Los Angeles. I finally have some marijuana. You motherfucking bitches. We are fucking back. It's time for put it in your mouth. So take a shot, bitch. I am Antonio motherfucking Punani. Um, I'm Chris P. Cream. I'm with Witness Relocated Program. Alright, and we're fucking here. Show you how to fucking barbecue. Now, most motherfuckers go straight outside and they fuck it up. Don't do it. You gotta make your fucking barbecue sauce first. This fucking shit is simple. Come on over and fucking look at this shit. Get some fucking ketchup. Take the fucking top off. Don't be fucking squeezing this shit like this. It ain't gonna fucking go anywhere. <coughs> fucking bitch. Take that fucking top off and squeeze that fucking... Th what the fuck is this shit? Look at this shit. I took this fucking thing off and they're like, No, we really don't want to fucking have any kids cop out of here. You gotta watch out. That stuff's poisonous. If you if a kid eats too much ketchup, I mean, they're gonna wipe in the ER. I've seen it. So you just fucking liberally squeeze that fucking ketchup in there like that. Ain't no thing. Convert this measurement and fucking get some mustard. And just fuck squeeze that shit right in there like that. And you get some fucking yeah, right. chili powder. Write that down. Chili fucking powder. Liberally fucking douse it. Douse it with chili powder like this. Pepper. You need that fucking black fucking pepper. You put in a little bit of soy sauce, ain't not much, just like this, just like that. Just a little fucking bit of soy sauce in there. And some garlic, just a tiny fucking bit, right like this, just like this much. Not too much garlic, this ain't Italian, it's a fucking barbecue. And you're gonna need sugar, that's the last ingredient. And this is the key to making good barbecue sauce, you actually have to put sugar. Brown sugar is a good addition as well, but just... Sprinkle sugar in here. We need it to be sweeter than ketchup. Ketchup has fucking sugar in it. You need that. God damn it. There, that'll do it. So, then you fucking heat it up on medium Ooh. and stir that shit. There's one thing you forgot. You gotta throw a little bit of shrimp shit in there. Flash it. Here we have my fucking special dish. Look at this shit. It literally. Oh my god, let's tell her this bit. Look at this. This is the most. This is the most fucking diarrhea shit. This shit sells on the market. It sells on the market. <laughs> the delicacy is finished. Fucking take it. There you go. Oh yeah. Dip it. Dip it in that fucking egg and then fucking roll it. Roll it in this shit. Into a ball. It's gonna be a shit ball. This shit is so good. It's delicious. God damn it. We don't have fucking shrimp shit. Although, it would be a, a, a beautiful addition, please feel free to uh, you take your own creative fucking uh, turns with barbecue sauce. So while that shit's fucking cooking, I'm gonna teach you what you need to bring outside. Get a fucking rack of rib, throw in the laundry basket. Fucking get your mustard and your ketchup, you need them for your brats, in a fucking laundry basket. Get fucking cloths, get some pickles, throw them in a fucking laundry basket. Fuck, get your hot dog buns in that fucking laundry basket. Bratwursts, beer brats, throw them in a the fucking laundry basket. You need a fucking knife, you need it, so you can fucking stab a hoe in the laundry basket. Fucking plates, can't serve this shit on nothing in the fucking laundry basket. Fucking take the lighter. Either you're gonna do this with charcoal or gas. Fucking laundry basket. This. Obviously, it's for wiping my ass. You bitch. You want a spatula and a motherfucking wet ass bag of sauerkraut. You have all this shit, and you fucking put it in there, you will be set to fucking get drunk. But, I did forget the last ingredient, and it is beer. So you need to fucking fill it up with beer to drink. Crack a beer, you fucking bitch. Time for me to teach you what to do. First, we gotta light this hoe. Now, if you're like us, you have a fucking gas grill that's broken as shit. So it's not gonna light itself. That's why I told you to bring the lighter. It wasn't for your fucking joints. It was for the fucking grill. Fucking paper towel. 
make a torch out of that shit. And you gotta jump it in there. It's gonna explode, you people. This is not some Hollywood special effects right here. First fucking mistake people make when they're fucking cooking with the grill is that they just shove the fucking food right on there because they're hungry. Do not, you're gonna do that. You have to make it reach a certain temperature in there. And you fucking either, if it's charcoal, you wait till the coals are fucking white. And then you fucking close it for a few minutes and let the temperature rise. If it's a gas stove like this shit, you fucking do what? Just black people? I don't have nothing against fucking coals, dude. Let me eat this right here on black, okay? I'm undercover right now. All right, well, whatever, man. The point is, it's gotta be 350. Now, you got a temperature gauge on here. If you don't have a fucking temperature gauge, wait at least five minutes, and then we're gonna be turning the fucking heat down. You can't fucking rush this shit. You gotta fucking lay back and get drunk whole fucking time. Bottom line is, you know, I'm in a witness relocation program because I witnessed a crime that I was committing and I had to be relocated. I turned myself in the perpetrator. And uh, it's a long story. But anything that keeps me out of jail. Just fucking tear that open and get its tender juiciness pig side out of there. Well, this is side of pig. This was actually like on this fucking pig, right like this. It breathed with this shit. That's what it used to do. But now it's dead. I thought, I thought you breathed with your lungs. No, it breathed, you do, but this holds your lungs. It protects them. Obviously it didn't protect this pig's lungs. Put some fucking towels down and fucking hang that shit like a butcher. You're good at this. This is, comes naturally to, to fucking Mr. Cream over here. You know what, this, he, he just revealed a life lesson. Anytime you're playing with your meat, you gotta lay a couple towels down. It's true. It is something you must do. It's like a murder. You just fucking go with it, and then when you're fucking done with it, then you fucking make up a story about how you moved to some other fucking state, and then you actually say it was self-defense, and then you change your story again and say that you were raped, and then you change your story again. Right on there. Bam! That shit is on the grill. You want it on there just like that, sauce and all. It does not get any more sauce from here on out. It's fucking out there. I'm gonna move it to the fucking center of the motherfucker. And don't worry if some fucking sauce falls into the grill. It ain't gonna do shit. So I'm gonna close that for the moment and get out our fucking beer brats. They're going in there too. All right, these are fucking beer brats. Give me some beer on the fucking brats. I want all the fucking brats beard. Thank you very much. They're already beer brats. They were bought as beer brats, but you gotta fucking put some fresh shit on there. You better have brought enough that that doesn't matter. And throw those bitches on the motherfucking grill. Again, though, you want that heat low. Now, here's some beer. I'm gonna drink that. It ain't enough. It ain't enough to see a shit. Some pool rules here. Obviously, we're the only people here, uh, but there's no glass containers. So I'm gonna teach you what to do if they have this stupid rule at your fucking municipal pool. Here's what you do. You get a fucking bottle of lime juice, leave a little bit at the bottom, and fill it up with tequila. Now, this is tequila. <laughs> Give me that motherfucker. It's time for you to take a shot. Oh! <laughs> See, always have a hurl spit. Oh! At this point, you're gonna want to fucking cut your pickles. Oh! Don't mind that. Without flavor, you just are eating a turd. That's all you're having. Well, that's technically all food is. It's just pre duty. That's, that's a freaking log of duty waiting to happen right there. So cut it real thin like this. And try to leave it intact, shape-wise. You can do this to a fucking brown log as well, if you fucking roll that way. Right here, you see this back? It's still intact right here. That's the key to truck getting the fucking fine cuts I'm about to show you. Then you get this. Look at these fine cuts coming off of there. That's so fine. This fucking point, there's a big pile of pickles. I'll fucking hook you right on up. That's looking fucking spectacular. Now this shit is almost fully cooked. I'm gonna give it a little more time, especially for these ribs. You want this shit tender, you gotta cook it slow, and you gotta cook it long. That's how it works. 
So we're gonna go ahead and give it a little more time. You've been to these barbecues, we had to eat something that tasted like a fucking old shoe. You do not want this. You do not drink all this beer to eat a fucking old shoe. You did not. So do it what I fucking tell you. <laughs> oh, God. No. <coughs> Fuck did you punch me in the motherfucking stomach for? Oh. <coughs> God damn. You don't punch a motherfucker in his stomach when he's chugging a beer. That is fucking wrong. You stupid bitch. Hey, you knew I was a criminal. Clearly. What is in here? I know every one of you motherfuckers has been in a pool and you've been like, what the fuck is in this fucking thing? Let's find out. There's a fucking dead body. Oh, it's a fucking board. This is not even, why the fuck <sighs> is this thing even fucking here? L look at this shit, dude. What is this? This is just a fucking board that is like, they clipped this board on here with a fucking lock. Hey, everybody knows here in Los Angeles, I mean, people people are a lot thinner. They watch their, they watch their uh, figures. It's true, some of these Hollywood bitches could get through this thing. This ain't even fucking... All right, let's... I think that's a little bit too wide for Oh, some. that's what it is. All right, so what we got back here? We've got bleach. It's good in case you need to fucking clean out. Oh, it's a bee! That's right, I forgot. That's why I fucking... It, there is a bee in there. Let's fucking take a look at this. What the fuck is that bee? There's a mop, and we may need that later if we puke. Ah! Is it a bee? Oh, it's right fucking there. Look at this fucking bee. God damn it, don't rile the bee up. <laughs> it's all fucking poor beer on the bee. <laughs> oh. You fucking bee. It's out of here. Go build your nest some other motherfucking place, stupid bee. Don't you guys, you know, uh, I restarted my life, you know, and I picked up the guitar. And uh, there's this uh, woman out there. There's this woman out there who, uh, you know, she caught my eye a long time ago. And it's not Rachel Ray, I'll tell you that. I got a song brewing up. It's brewing up about right here. This area right here. So she's gonna get it, I'm gonna serenade her. Her name's Courtney Love. This fucking fly swatter came from fucking Hades. I will kill that bee if I have to. I ain't, I'm a pacifist. I ain't gonna fucking kill something that I ain't gonna eat. So if I kill this bee, I am gonna eat it. So, <laughs> hopefully it won't come to that. It'll be self-defense. Anyway, let's take a look at what we got here. Now these are done. This is pork. You do not wanna fuck with pork. I've said this before. You do not fuck with pork cook that shit straight through. This is straight through cooked, you can see it. But it's not charred. You know, people like that char flavor on their fucking barbecue. Now this is kind of charred, but let's take a look at the other side here. No, it's not really charred. What we're looking at here, if you don't like your shit charred, you stop right now. You fucking serve it up and you're done. And everybody's like, oh, it's a barbecue, but it isn't fucking, there's no burn on it. But you want grill marks and you want this shit to fucking look like it got barbecued. So two minutes. That's all you need. We're gonna keep this rolling throughout the whole fucking two minutes and we might cut it, but I don't give a fuck. Full flames. This shit is gonna be fucking on fire. Oh, we need to fucking get this thing flipped over here. Cause this one's better. This side's already got some fucking char rolling on it. Cause we had that shit full flames before. I can roll, roll it down. And that shit is gonna go from 350 to, to fucking burnt as fuck right now, and you gotta fucking keep a close eye on that shit, but you also need beer. In the meantime, the sixth shot. Oh, shit. <coughs> oh, dude. Oh, my God. Ugh. Well, there is a mop. We did find it. We did the wrong part. Let's just mop that right up. Ugh. There we go. Good as new. All right, we need to look at this, though. We gotta flip it now. It's been one minute. That shot, that took one minute. This shit, oh, they ate my spatula. That shot is enough. 
Look at those fucking flame marks actually coming on the damn uh, hot dogs or bratwurst or whatever the fuck they are. I don't give a shit. And this one just needs to be moved right now. Look at this thing. Bam! Nope, they ain't fucking burned enough. Put it back. Oh! Do not be afraid to fucking flip the meat around. It will stay together. I right, put it back in another minute. That's what she said. Do not be afraid to flip the meat around. Oh! I need to, do, I need to uh, start doing stand up or something, man. <laughs> you got this fucking puke stain coming down to your motherfucking mask. <laughs> hey, man, that's the, life of, that's the life of a motherfucker hanging in LA. Sometimes you get a little puke on your face. This is, not, this is my fucking skin, okay? I'm in a witness relocation program. This is my actual face. If I pulled this up, you'd see nothing but skeleton. All right, take another fucking check. Checkmate, bitch. This shit is looking nice. Still not quite the char I'm looking for. That flame is on this shit, though. That is the char I'm looking for on this. So I'm gonna fucking put this back down. You gotta eyeball this shit every fucking minute in the last stages. You're, you're fucking rolling with high heat here. Look at this shit. This shit is in the white. It is so white. It's like M&M. And so what you need to do is fucking keep an eye on it. If M&M was in here, I'd be keeping an eye on him, making sure he didn't fucking urinate on my shoes or something. after some fucking criminal. But luckily, you've been relocated, so they aren't after you. I mean, maybe they are after you. Are they after you? They're, they're after Jonathan Wilmar. Well, I don't feel in any way unsafe about that. All right, this shit is rock. This is, that's what I'm looking at. See that? Now, it's just an edge of fucking flame right there. And we've got it going here, too. Just gotta keep your eye on it. It's almost done. We have seriously 45 seconds left on this grill. This is the fucking critical mass right here. If you fuck this up, that shit is gonna burn to the motherfucking core. If you wanna eat some burnt shit to the motherfucking go core, go to fucking Yellowstone, get a fucking burnout tree that got struck by lightning and fucking chew on it. Cause that's about the same taste that's gonna be in your fucking mouth if you don't fucking listen to my ass. Actually, I bet that's exactly what Courtney loves sash tastes like. And I still eat it. Contact me, here's my Facebook, flash it. Oh, uh, there is his Facebook. And my Facebook is fucking open to view, but I ain't gonna fucking accept your friend request unless I've seen your face. That's how it works. Suck a dick. These ribs are done. They're fucking done. Get one of your plates. Yeah, move them out. Move them right on out. Now this is the preparation phase. It's gonna be on the whole motherfucking time. You gotta fucking roll with this. This, right here, is a masterpiece. Now you all wish you could eat this right now, and I know this. And you can all suck a dick. What you need to do is write down the shit that I said. And you need to fucking get this shit for yourself. Do exactly what I said, and you actually get to have this moment for yourself. I get to have it right now, because I fucking did what I said. Bitch. They're bratwurst. They're not fucking hot dogs. Hot dogs taste like ass, and they're made from fucking pigtails and rectums. They're, they're, they're brat dogs. It's a combo. Brat dogs. I made that up, Oscar Mayer. Fuck you. And look at this. <clears throat> it's fucking perfect. There is nothing about this bratwurst that is in any way fucking not perfect. Skin's tight. That shit has fucking burn marks all over it. It's perfect. Once, ribs? Once again, you were describing Courtney Lowe's vagina. Tight with burn marks on it. <laughs> well, yeah, Kurt must have fucking burnt that shit out a little bit. Friction. <laughs> Friction does cause heat. 
He was he was nodding out. Jeffrey banged her, and she's like, "Whoa, what are you doing with a lit cigarette down there?" You gotta fucking prepare it. You're not done. You don't just fucking throw half a fucking pig at someone and be like, "Here, eat this shit." No, it's not how you do it. It is not how you fucking do it. You gotta fucking cut this shit. You gotta cut it right. Cut that shit right down, right down the fucking line. Making sure to sever every muscle. Now this shit's thick. Oh god, this is gonna be good. Smell that shit. Now as you can see here, look at this fucking tendon. Look at the, no, tell a macro that shit. Do you see this fucking thing right here? That is the fucking separation mark of the tendon. You wanna slide your knife right in that mark, right here. Do you see that? That's where you fucking do it. I'm gonna fucking just let this thing slide in. Thought I'd put the, and it goes straight through, just like that. See, straight through. That is what you want. You want that fucking cut clean. Now, your fucking customers or your motherfucking guests are gonna get to fucking chew this shit clean off the fucking bone now because you fucking separated that shit for them right on the mark. Do not fuck this up. This shit is fucking science. It goes with the fucking hot dogs. You have to do this one, two, three, four, five, six, however many fucking ribs this motherfucking pig had times. Do you understand what I'm fucking saying? So get to work. Just imagine this. Imagine this, Courtney. This is your vagina right here. This is my dog. She'd be like that for you. Like, oh, boom shakalaka. Can you feel that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, they're coming for us now. We fucking spilled some shit. I don't give a fuck. God damn. Hey, crispy cream has got a clean slate. I'm a new man. Clean environment. Everything has to be crystal. Crystal. I'm not fucking kidding you. Everything has to be crystal clean, except for the fucking rag you have. It's the same as when you're masturbating. I mean, these are multiple life tips here. How do you eat, and how do you masturbate? I mean, come on. This is all things you learn in puberty. Their mothers throw them out on the street when they're 18. They don't know what the fuck to do. Now, thanks to me, you're gonna know how to fucking cook. You may not know how to fucking correctly towel off your spooge, but you will know how to cook. Oh, you fucking bitches, it's time. Take a shot. Oh shit, it's fucking time to take a shot. Oh. This time I promise you. The LAPD is still looking for you, man. I hear the fucking copter running around here. You can't find me because I changed my identity. This time I will not puke. God damn. Oh! Dude. What is it? Water. I don't believe you. I've learned this shit before. Don't fucking accept chasers from strangers. This guy, he's wearing a fucking mask. I don't know who the fuck he is. He could be fucking Krispy Kreme. He could be Krispy and Balls. I don't know who the fuck he is. Do not take water from strangers. Kids, there's a dude in a van offering you candy. Steal the candy from him and run the fuck away. If he's offering it to you, you don't have to steal it. You can just flash a little ass and get it from him. I mean, come on. Every kid knows that. Look at this rib. This has no bones on it. That is pure meat right here. This is the fucking, this is the, the fucking god rib right here. This rib right here is the one that you give to the motherfucker that you want to bang. You know, it's not necessarily so much that I want to do you, Courtney. I just want to skews in the last place that Kurt Cobain ever skews. But it is necessarily that I do want to do you too. I'll buy you a drink. I know a bar up the street. I'll get you Bloody Marys for $3 a pop. I can do it. I'm done. I would do me if someone gave me this rib. I just gave myself this rib. I would probably do myself. It's time to fucking serve your guests. And there's a certain way you should fucking prepare this because presentation is part of people's palates. These are eyes. What do they do? They sense. It's your fucking tongue. What does it do? It fucking senses shit. If you combine the senses, you're gonna get a more pleasurable experience. This motherfucker and Courtney Love will both fucking testify to this shit. Now, it's important that you don't just slop this shit on there like it got fucking uh, thrown out of a garbage truck. It ain't gonna do anything for anybody. You gotta fucking be a pro about this shit. You're gonna fucking surround the fucking buns with ribs. These people are not gonna know what the fuck to do with themselves other than to suck your cock. 
I swear to God, that is the only thing that's gonna fucking happen to you after you're done serving a bitch this fucking food. You just imagine that. You imagine a full belly, you're laying back, you get a fucking beach. That's what happens when you cook ribs. It is. And you gotta put these pickles in there. Put them right in like this. It's the first layer of many layers. Do not worry that you pick the cheapest fucking bun in the place. They do not taste the bun, they taste what is in the bun. That is how it works. You've got sauerkraut, you fucking throw that sauerkraut right on there. Be liberal. Basic shit. If you don't know this, you should go back to grade school, you should be ashamed to be alive. You stupid fuck. Scroll back up in the room, in the womb, and restart your deal. Ketchup. All right. Got that mustard rolling on there, there it is. All right, now this is a dressed bun. This is what we call a dressed bun. Now, as you can see, I fucking have some slop here. Come over here, fucking look at the slop. Now, I don't have any problem with slop myself, but I'm the motherfucking chef. Your guests do not need slop. They want to give you a beach. They do not want to fucking taste your slop until after they're done giving you a beach. You fucking bitch. Lightly place each fucking wiener into the bun. This is also how you're gonna do it after you fucking serve them. Exactly. <laughs> Lightly place your wiener in the bun. <laughs> uh, you get a little rough with it after you start putting your mouth all over it, but right now, just want them in there. If I can close them up, there it is. Real nice. <laughs> fucking bitch, it's time for is it good or is it ain't? You bitch. Mm. It's so good. You have no fucking clue. You could pray to Jesus for 20 years and ask for a fucking taste that is this good. And what you will get is dry mouth. If you do what I say, you will have it. You stupid bitch. This is good. Now for the secondary opinion. Last time I took a bite of a fucking rib, I was in a bar fight. It wasn't cooked. Son of a bitch, that's good. It's one of the ones I cut properly. As you can see, it's done. There's no fucking raw pork on this thing. And that is a fucking key. Now, but look how tender it is. Look at this. If I push this shit, it's moist. I mean, I can't even describe what it's gonna be like in my mouth. But I'll fucking tell you right now, this shit is soft as hell. Watch this. Mmm. This shit fell right off. You know what? Fuck this, dude. It's time for the challenge. What? Now, back where I come from, we got a thing called underwater rib. And that's what you do is you get a rib, and you and your friends duke it out underwater. You dive in the fucking water with the rib, and you don't come up until you finish it. You can, but you lose. You can do it yourself at home with a bathtub and a hot dog if you want to simulate. Practice makes perfect. You bitch. All right, you bitches. Grab your fucking rib. It's time. When I come back up, this thing's gonna be bare. Like Courtney Love's shaved snatch. And... <laughs> fuck. All right, well, you lost that fuck. Well, you didn't lose yet. There's some rib down there. Uh, you're gonna fucking drown, dude. I ain't gonna drown. You don't know what you're doing. All, all, you, right. gotta beat, all you gotta beat is two bites. Uh, no, I gotta, no, I don't gotta beat dick. The, the, the look, look at the fucking bottom of that. I'm gonna have to fish that out of there now. That's my fucking, like, that's my goddamn uh, problem. Now. I gotta fish that out of here. No, no, this motherfucker, look, look at this ass. That, that is the, that is the look of a fucking witness protection program gone fucking wrong right there. Now I'm gonna show you how this is done. Oh dude, I'm gonna have to jump in and save you. I ain't gonna save shit. First of all, I ain't fucking jumping in. I'm gonna get this thing clean. Clean. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. 
I'm treading the water, bitches. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> I won the challenge. His rib in the pool. God damn it. My I rib. Guess he went, fuck it. In my mouth. <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 it's so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> that is colder than I ever expected anything to be. <laughs> this fucking rib is in the bottom of the goddamn pool. <laughs> I don't want to go in there again. Now it's time for the parting shot. Hold on. Time to take a shot. The parting motherfucking shot. Oh, that... <laughs> Damn. All right, so tonight's, today's, whatever you're in, wherever you're at, the parting shot for today is... Remember, kids, you can't get full underwater. You can eat a little bit, but you just can't get full. I did not get full. I got full of chlorine. You can get full of poison, but you can't get full of actual food. You know, we're giving you life lessons here. But we do want you to try that contest. Right, and if you do drown, it's not our fucking fault. This isn't some Beavis and Butthead shit where he's like, fire, fire, and then the kid lights the house on fire, and Mike Judge gets his ass whooped. If you are fucking, if you wind up in a pool with a fucking rib, all floating, 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 floating in a motherfucking pool, who is not responsible? I am not fucking responsible Me for neither. that shit. Because I already told you not to fucking do that because you're a fucking dumbass kid. You're going to do it anyway because you're a dumbass fucking kid. But at least you'll know the reason you did it is because I told you not to. Just like when your mother... Exactly told you not to fucking steal the liquor off the fucking cabinet, and you did it, and then you puked all over a carpet. Do as we do, not as we say. All right, look at this shit. This fucking bee, you remember that fucking bee? It is in the water. Now, I did not put it in there. I did not. I was done with that fucking bee. We've already taken a parting fucking shot. This fucking bee, it fucked up. It's over. This bee, its life is done. It has no chance. It is waiting for a miracle. What am I gonna do with this stupid fucking bee? I'm gonna give him another chance. He didn't fucking go in there. He probably smelled ribs in the motherfucking pool because there was ribs in the pool and he, he fucking wanted a bite. And I can't be held responsible for that. So I'm gonna fish him out of there and he's gonna fucking have a new chance. It's a new bird for this fucking bee. I was gonna kill it with my spatula, but he didn't do nothing to me. So, I'm gonna fucking get him out of there. There he is. Now, he's fucked up right now. It's just like after I drink a bunch of Jaeger. But, he's, look at him. He appreciates that he's not a dead motherfucking bee right now. He's thinking, God damn, I thought I was a dead fucking bee, and now I'm not a dead fucking bee anymore. And this is not even a fucking wasp, is it? No, this is a honeybee. This motherfucker actually makes the ingredients that we cook with. So it's a good damn thing that I fucking saved his ass. Now it's time, I'm gonna put him over here. He's gotta be in the sun or else he ain't gonna dry off. So, fucking get off of there now. Come on. Can you get off? Get off of there, man. You don't wanna be on this fucking net all the time. Get off the net. Yeah, I'll put the net on the wall. He'll dry up. It's true. Good fucking point. That's that. Have some mercy in your life. Don't drive like these dumbasses in this town and fucking give a motherfucker some mercy. He didn't deserve to die. He didn't do shit. He was just trying to get some ribs. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> 